YouTube is currently on a demonetization spree. So I would like to ask you if you are able to share a dollar on Patreon. Doing so will give you all kinds of great perks. Link is in the description below. Thank you very much. So, you think you know a lot of medieval weapons, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so do I. So um, I found this quiz on, on Facebook. It says 97% uh, of people aren't gigantic history nerds and they can't name these medieval weapons from a picture. Can you? And I was like, hell yeah, I can. I'm gonna ace this shit. It's gonna be easy. Now, usually Facebook quizzes like this are um, absolute garbage. You know, they, they aren't made to actually be challenging. They are in fact made for people to be able to complete them. And they'll say something like, Ooh, if you get one answer correct, you'll be smarter than 100% of the human population. Ugh. And that makes people feel good about themselves, so they'll share that shit. Like, nobody likes doing a quiz if they can't get any answers right. But I also saw that this quiz had, had like 40 something questions, so I figured, you know, maybe there are some, some challenging ones in here. And if so, perhaps you guys can learn a little bit about, um, about different weapons uh, in history. So, uh, let's just do this quiz. We're gonna see where we're gonna end up. I can't see half of my screen because my microphone is in the way. Damn it. Which weapon is this? That's, that's difficult, man. Like, mmm. Bow and arrow, fine. You, oh, you can get a hint? Wait, let me get a hint. Robin Hood's favorite. <laughs> okay, sure. That's a good hint, I guess. Which weapon is this? Uh, trebuchet, crossbow, arbalist, or ballista? Well, an arbalist is a crossbow. Just... Just a bigger one. <laughs> um, so... Hint. Don't cross this one. Oh my god, are you serious? Is that, that's the hint, okay. Crossbow, sure. As those who saw the Red Wedding episode of Game of Thrones can attest, crossbows can do a lot of damage. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> dragons too. Like, <laughs> Which weapon is this? The fact that it has a ram's head on it, you know, makes it kind of a, kind of obvious. Sure. Which weapon is this? Is a siege tower really a weapon? I mean, I guess it's a siege weapon. No, it's a siege engine. No, it's not an engine. It doesn't do shit. It just rolls. Is a siege tower really a weapon? I don't know. Whatever. Siege tower. Hell yeah. Easy. At this point, I'm starting to doubt if this quiz is uh, ever gonna get challenging. Okay, maybe it will get challenging because the picture is not showing up. All right, we're back. Question five, which weapon is this? That is the Claw of Archimedes. I was actually planning on doing a, doing a weird weapons episode about that. I haven't done a weird weapons video in a long time. I think this has been months. I should make one again. Next. Which weapon is this? I mean, are arrows really weapons? I mean, like a bullet isn't a weapon. You know, the gun is the weapon. So, uh, whatever, flaming arrows, sure. Why not? What, what's the hint? Like arrows, but hotter. Hmm. That's, that's not a hint. This is just giving the answer. Next one. Which weapon is this? That's a target. That's not a weapon. Javelin? Sure. We already had bow and arrow, so... What's the hint? Also an Olympic event. Uh, okay. Well, Which weapon is this? I mean, it clearly has blades, and the only answer that has blades on it is Scythe Chariot, so that should be, should be pretty obvious. Right? If you've seen Gladiator, you've seen this wicked little beauty it's basically just a chariot with a spinning blade sticking out from the sure which weapon is this it's a cannon a cannon that doesn't work anymore because it's plugged hell yeah let's go 
All right, this turns out to not be very challenging. Catapult. Easy. Have you guys learned anything yet? I haven't. Which weapon is this? Uh, Mangosh Katana Wakizashi. Hmm. All right. Okay, let, let, let's think about this one for a second. Because what I think is happening here... What I think... You gotta look at the details, right? So, what I think is the case is that this guy, the guy who made this quiz, probably thought, ha ah, people are gonna gonna click on, on Katana, but I'm, I'm smarter than them. And it's actually a Wakizashi. Uh, because a Wakizashi, if you don't know, it's, it's, it's a Japanese short sword that is basically the same design as a Katana, just shorter. Um, and this sword doesn't really look like it's that long to me. And I would also say that, look, it doesn't have a guard, like it has no Tsuba. Um, which I, I don't know if having a Tsuba is actually a requirement for it being a Katana, but otherwise it might even be neither of those, it might be a Tachi. Um, <laughs> but the only of official distinction between a Tachi and a Katana, as far as I know, is that um, Japanese swords always have a marking on the tang, on the piece of metal inside the grip, right? And um, on Tachi and Katana, they are on opposite sides because they are supposed to be on the side that is facing outwards when you're wearing the sword on your hip. And the Tachi was worn with the edge down, but the Katana was worn with the edge up. So that puts the mark on opposite sides. On the Katana, if you would hold it with the edge like this, right, with the edge facing forward, then the markings would be on the left side, but on the Tachi would be on the right side. But you can't see that on this example because you can't disassemble it. Um, but, but what I think happened, if, if I, if I would, would go into the mind of, of the maker of this quiz, I think that this is a trick question, that he's gonna make some bullshit up about saying, haha, no, there are some some weird distinguishes between a katana and a wakizashi, and this is actually a wakizashi. Know the difference, you uncultured plebs. So, uh, there you go. Nope, I was I was wrong. It's a, it's a katana to him, apparently. Okay, never mind. If you've seen the Kill Bill movies, you're pretty well versed in the mystique of the katana. Japanese swordsmiths would fold metal over and over again to make the blade whose flexibility and strength were unmatched. Yep, what's the hint? A sam the samurai's favorite long blade. Okay, there's a, the katanas are not that long, to be honest, but sure. Whatever, there are, there are longer Japanese swords as well, but never mind. Next. Which weapon is this? Rapier. Easy. Easy. Which weapon is this? That is not an actual historical weapon. I mean, it might be a poleaxe, uh, but uh, doesn't look... Uh, you probably want me to say Warhammer, but uh, it's way too long to be a Warhammer. Warhammers were single-handed, but sure, Warhammer. There we go. Nope, what's happening? Nothing. Which weapon is this? Greek fire. Hell yeah. Easy. If you've seen season 2 of Game of Thrones... Sure, fuck off. Which weapon is this? That looks... Like garbage. Spear. Yeah. Which weapon is this? That... <laughs> what? That's nothing. That's a that's a very shitty drawing. What is, that's not an actual weapon. I mean, it's it's it looks like an axe. So I guess you want me to say throwing axe. Correct. Come on, that's not, what kind of throwing axe is that supposed to be? <laughs> Come. On. Ah, okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Let's continue. Which weapon is this? Well, we already had crossbow, so this is probably an arbalist to you. Hell yeah, all right. Next. Which weapon is this? That's a hand cannon. Boom, easy. Next. Which weapon is this? Uh, that is not a historical design. By any means. All right, uh, okay, here's the thing. 
it vaguely looks like a Gladius, but the thing is that Gladius had four different distinct blade shapes. And uh, this one is kind of straight and then rounded at the top. And it, it kind of resembles the Pompey Gladius, but not really because the Pompey was absolutely straight and then at the very tip it tapered into a very distinct point. Right, and also the Gladius does not have any fuller and this one does seem to have multiple fullers. That is because this is not a historical design. Um, but whatever, also if you want to look at the material that it's made of, then this, I, this is supposed to represent metal, I don't know what it is, but that was also not the case on the Gladius. So, this is not a Gladius. This is a, this is a short sword? Nope, it's a Gladius to him. Okay, this is... <laughs> by what... <laughs> Okay, let me let me just take a look. If you type in Gladius in Google, what shows up? Gladius. There you go. Okay. Ah, uh, so these are the pictures that show up. A uh, nice Scalagrim video right here, where where he is talking about the shapes that I was talking about. Um, I wonder where he got his picture from. Because it's it's not here. Never mind. Let's 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 just go. Let me, what's the hint? Roman pokey thing. Which weapon accessory is this? <laughs> He's wearing both a helmet and a shield. So <laughs> is it a helm or a shield? He's, he's both a helmet and a shield. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I mean, he's, he's tapping his, his helmet, so... Uh, nope! Shield! She Come on, like, the shield is only halfway in the picture. Was there not... Was there no better picture that you could have found of a shield? Like, maybe one with the shield at the center, or actually completely into the frame, and not a picture of a guy tapping his helmet with his sword. Hint. Protects. That doesn't tell me anything. A helm protects as well. This... This... This quiz is already getting on my nerves. This is stupid. Okay, never mind. Which weapon is this? Sword breaker, sure. Go. Which weapon is this? This is a spring loaded triple dagger. Hell yeah, did you know that? You probably did, and you learned something today. Which weapon is this? That is a Morning Star flail. A morning star flail. Morning star refers to a spiked ball, right? If you you put a spiked ball on top of a stick, you get a morning star mace. If you put a a spiked ball on top of it on on a chain on a stick, then it becomes a morning star flail. But uh, I doubt this guy knows that. <laughs> I mean. So it, it's a morning star, kind of, because they're spikes. They're not really distinct spikes. Like if you look up morning star, they have really excessive, a lot of lots of spikes. So, um, and it is a flail because it has a chain. Nope, it's a morning star to this guy. Okay, let me let me let me Google that again. Let's 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 take a little gander on Google. If you type in type in flail and see what happens, flail. Okay, you type in flail and this is what shows up. Okay, these are the pictures that you see. Is that not fucking obvious that <laughs> this is a goddamn... What happens when you type in morning star? Morning st star. Okay, the same thing, but also a lot of them that are not on, on, on chains. I, I stick to my point, okay? This, this is a fucking flail. Next question. Which weapon is this? I don't fucking know, but I know it's not a glaive, a sickle, or a rapier, so it's probably a hunga bunga. Come on, like, it's an exotic looking weapon, and you only put one exotic name in there. Which weapon is this? That's a caltrop. Hell yeah. It's also not really a weapon, if you think about it. More like a trap. Which weapon is this? That's a... Well, if you think about it, a culverin is... Kind of... A cannon. Just... Just an early one. So... We already had cannon. It's not a hand cannon, so it's a culverin. But, uh, yeah. A culverin is a cannon, to be honest. Next. Which weapon is this? 
That's a bill hook. But or bill for short. But that's not one of the options. <laughs> God damn it. Um, Halbert then. Nope, it's a pike. That is not a pike. That is not a pike. A pike is a is a long spear, like an incredibly long spear. Just a, just pointy. That's a bill hook. The hook makes it a bill. Okay, uh, never mind. One of the continuing dilemmas in medieval warfare was how unarmored soldiers could beat armored and mounted knights. The pike wielded by masses masked soldiers was a handy solution. The long, wickedly bladed or pointed staffs made it very hazardous wall through. I mean, okay, well, uh, sure. I, I guess you could call this a pike. I mean, I guess pike is kind of an umbrella term for multiple different pole arms. But I, I, I'm, I still, I still don't agree. This is, a, I, I'm not, I don't feel like googling it again. Let's, let's go. Which weapon is this? That is not a Mongol bow. And if you say that's a Mongol bow, I'm gonna be mad. But I can't see how long it actually is. So, um, but I'm, I'm gonna go for longbow anyway. It's a longbow. Okay, thank God. Which weapon is this? It's none of those. It's not a rapier or a gladius. And a broadsword is a Scottish basket-hilted sword. And a claymore is a Scottish two-handed greatsword with, with an upswept guard that has like three little rings on, on the end. It's, it's none of these. That is, that's an arming sword, supposedly. I mean, I can't see the entire thing, so I don't know how long it is. So it's either an arming sword or a longsword. And a fantasy one. But that hasn't been maintained very well. But you probably think it's a broadsword. Even though it's not. The broadsword was your basic issue hacking and slashing weapon. Especially for knights. They weren't nearly as quick or nimble as rapiers. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on, I regret doing this already. Which weapon is this? Hellburner. Sure. Go. Next. Sure again. Easy. Next. It's also not a historical picture, but sure. It's not what they historically looked like. I made a video about that. That's the lantern shield. Easy. Next. Which weapon is this? That's a morning star, but uh, I mean, I no, no, actually, no, that's not a morning star. Sorry, I goofed. That's uh, well, it has spikes, so it's a mace. To you, it's a club. If it has iron spikes on it, if it has spikes, it's not a club. Okay. Okay, I, you could call this a club, just because it's wood, partially. But n never mind. Never mind. That's a mace. That is specifically a flanked mace, because there are different kinds of maces. You can't just say mace and just expect people to know everything. No. Just, it, it's a flanked mace. Mace. It's a mace. I'm getting frustrated. Doesn't matter. Which weapon is this? Trebuchet. Easy. Easy. Next. Are we done yet? Because I'm, I'm getting tired. Which weapon it is? It's none of those! That's a spadroon! That is this weapon. I have two of them. This, this one. It's fucking this one. Look! See? It's this one. This is the 1796 pattern British infantry officer's sword. Not a saber, it's a sword. You know what the difference is? It's straight. Yeah? It's a difference. If it's straight, it's not a saber. Straight swords are swords, not sabers. That's a fucking spadroon. It's a short, single edged, thin, cut and thrust blade. Makes it a spadroon. It's a fucking spadroon. Ah, go fuck yourself, man. Fucking fuck. Which weapon is this? This is Uji Katana. Or a katana, but... What? Come on! Ah, oh, you're fucking with me now. That's a Japanese sword design. And... Ah... Uh... Hint? Not a short one. Long sword. Ah, oh, come. What? This was your standard issue blade for knights. It wasn't terribly pretty or elegant. But if you were on horseback and wanted to cleave a path, swinging this would be 
would pretty well do the trick. Who would use a long sword on horseback? This is a Japanese sword. Where did he get these pictures? If you type in long sword in, in, on Google, does this sword show up? I doubt it does. I'm going to try it again. Why not? I've already typed it in. Easy. Let's go. Nope, it's not there. Not not there. I guess, I guess this one is a bit... This is a LARP sword, but sure. Okay. Uh, next. Which weapon is this? Battle axe, throwing axe. We already had throwing axe, so I suppose this is a battle axe then. Yes. Which weapon is this? That's a... That's a, that's a, that's a lance, probably. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on, load, you piece of crap. Which weapon is this? English longbow. I mean, we already had longbow. We already had normal longbow. Like, isn't... Just... Okay, uh, okay never, never mind. Recurve bow. Easy. Next. Which weapon is this? That's a sling. Which weapon is this? That's a. It looks really weird from the side, but that's a ballista. How many questions does this have? I regret everything, Mordor. I I suppose that's that's a glaive to you, but it has these these rings, which you know Chinese things have. Could you honestly have not found a better picture? Glaive, sure. See results. 38 out of 44. I guess I'm a fraud. Okay, we've all learned something today. To never do quizzes like this anymore because I want to die now. If you stuck around this long, you might as well subscribe. Also, follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And thank you for joining my quest. I hope you'll join me in the next one, which is not going to be this. I hate myself now. Okay, bye.